Get an a. Make sure you have a one five two radio, and set to fifty three point nine so we can communicate with each other. Yeah, got one. All right, cool. Fifty three point nine. Ready to check? Yeah, Roger. Let me make sure this is set right. Right ear, and then this is left ear, right? I always want to be careful. Yep. All right, so plant three charges, and then pick a spot to maraud around at base. Uh, positions of interest is there's apartments at uh, 09604. There's a much larger apartment garrison at 104001. Uh, we again have that third plane at 089004. It's got a light garrison. Then we've got a Ural Depot at 088002. You also have an Overwatch position at 087000, 50 meters south of that grid ref. And then uh, at 102001. Roger. Also got three MI twenty four cargos. Uh, when they start, uh, when they, I mean, the player base starts the objective, they will um, take off. But uh, otherwise, uh, they'll be just call me in, and I will try to extract you with one of them. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's set up our global scale. Global will be 90. These guys are Russian trained, so their accuracy... We'll bump it up to 40 by default. Then 50, we'll put that up to 55. And then spotting, we'll put up to 75, because NBGs. And they will be equipped with these puppies. Now, are they just going to go in there? I hope they use recon to see that and then maybe put a sniper team or something to take those two guys out, but that's anyone's guess. Ah, we'll see how it goes. What a memory leak is. Basically, to give the shortened definition, it's when your RAM cache kind of fucks up and you're not able to load things on the map. It was a really big issue when the Apex DLC first came out. And it wasn't only till like four or five months ago uh, did they like fix it. it. It took them a year to fucking fix that issue. Uh, nowadays, most people don't have it, though. People with mid-range to low-range uh, computers still occasionally get it if they have a low amount of RAM. Uh, I don't know what type of RAM it specifically is, but it basically it just means your your FPS drops down to like three and stuff starts clipping around the map because you can't load anything. I have only ever seen that issue in Arma 3. I'm not putting a bink... I'm not putting a fucking pink BMD or shit on their boat. Anyway. What type of music should we do for this? Someone hit me up with a good thing of music to uh, play for him. Ground command, this is high command. Uh, be advised, this is a one life only up. Roger that. So, Threats. Threats are always fun to talk about. I never rule infantry specifically as a threat because infantry are just there to really stall. Dushka could honestly take out a player or two, or they could get the jump on it if they're careful. But otherwise, Dishka could always be an issue. No threats here. Only threat here. This is the biggest threat of the entire mission. A Shilka still alive for short-range capability. Both AA, but also IFV. Otherwise, I don't think these MI-8s are armed. They're just pure cargo, right? Yep, I don't see any armed guys in it. Nope, so they're not a threat. Uh, down here, I don't have any armed cars. I do have these two Dishkas as well, but that's really it. This was meant to be a nice little lawn hunt the person op, which I was going to roleplay as, but I guess we'll have UK Woody do it instead. Perfect. World at War Soviet theme. Soviet National Anthem. Nah, music. We're not doing the Soviet National Anthem. These guys are still Americans. They're only fighting a Russian.
All right. Yeah, Dark S and all, he basically nailed what a memory leak is on a head for the more technified definition. And he set the charges, all right. Norse Celtic war music. That'd be interesting. God save the queen. Come on, something I can have in a large playlist, but I'm thinking Norse Celtic music or something. That'd be nice. That would be nice. COD 2 soundtrack. Uh, you know what? Let's see if we can find something good here with... Uh... Let's see what we can do. Of course, there's an ad. I hope there isn't too many fucking ads in this one. But this is a four-hour compilation, so this should be nice. All right. I like it. I like it. Woody, how you doing, my friend? Woody. 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 Woody, you cock. Can you not hear me over net? Honey, we're nice. Get back on 53.9 then. What radio are you using? Woody? Uh, uh, 152. Oh, yes, one, an AR one five or AN one five two. Yeah. On frequency it's, it's, five it's, it's, three point nine. That's because you arsenaled. Uh, apologies. Okay. Put away that Bergen backpack. You don't need that. One. Yeah, we'll do. Solid copy, ground command. Good luck. Okay, give me a radio check now. Bro, we need to go. They're moving. Radio check. Great. Go put away that Bergen, then go hide somewhere, and just keep tabs with me. You are Dimitri, I am Chad. This is how it works. Okay, Chad. Thank you, Dimitri. Also get a Russian accent. I have very bad <laughs> Russian accent. It works, okay? That works. It's the MIG's ejection. Uh, the pilot ejecting is what causes the memory leak. Uh, actually, no. Both cause the fucking memory leak. Both it crashing into the ground and the ejection. The ejection causes a small one for some people, but it's when the MIG crashes. That's what causes the big fucking memory leak. So they did not recon this at all, and they're gonna... Are you kidding? This is why I wanted the tier threes to do it, because they have the common sense to actually snipe people before they move. Don't tell me you're gonna drive right up. Here, I'm i I'm gonna play field of view. He doesn't technically see it. I'm trying to be nice. I don't know, with the boat drifting, they're eventually going to fall into the water. Yeah, bipod on the boat, now it's going to move you, you need to stabilize the boat. Yeah. 
Here, let me... There is something I could do here. <clears throat> and that greatly changed the speed of the boat's drift. Alright. Come on. Nani Botu Drift Oh my fucking god. I mean, this is a cool concept, but the boat, there's nothing I can do about the freaking boat drift, and that's why I meant for them to be out in the open like this. So they could be sniped from the ground. Specifically, that big hill. Drop him, drop him. You can confirm with the drone because there's no fucking place for me to hide AI because this is a static texture. With that, you'd be clear to move in. Literally, how I plan for this AO. Kill the sentries. Link up with them or have them get their own boat. Main force comes up and then they could just, you know, shadow the main force as a sniper team and assist where they could. Come up. Recon this, decide to take it out or leave it alone. Confirming that he's not here. Come check out this position. Possibly move in. Suppress kill this guy. Possibly start first contact here. And then just start sweeping through. But it's first contact that's going to make these things fly off. So they could also deploy here and then kill the pilots and move out. And that would completely cut off UK's escape. Hey, uh, is that a boat? Yeah, that's a boat. Uh, Dimitri, this is Chad. Uh, the pilots I provided you just told me a boat pulled up at... Oh, fuck. Zero nine zero 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 zero. Oh god, this is gonna end quick. Well, GG. He's even being nice. And you just pissed it off. Where the fuck are you going? Bro, I told you. Head over here. You. Go over there. Are you retarded? Go. Yeah, what is sneaky? the shell cup Jesus Christ hey Andruza I don't know why that Shilka shot your body all the way over to me but I hope you're not dead dead good fucking God Tokyo Drift. Wow, that was that a miss? I am alive. Yeah, not for long. Yeah, 
Well. Debug. He's not gonna have NVGs though, but fuck it. All right, I guess we'll just keep him there for the time being. I can afford to send one patrol. They hit it with something else that time. That's going to cause it a cook off. You can hear that cook off sound. All right, let's also ungarrison this group. You know, it's always smart to just go to this and then hit that. And send them out accordingly. So who do we even still have left? We got five people, two medics, they're working on them, so they could get their people back. Andrews is definitely dead. Like where is he? Let's let's look at Andrews's wounds. Yeah, he's He's dead. He's dead. <laughs> Yep, so that Vic fucked up because, you know, no NVGs means it can't see shit. Chad, this is Dimitri. Come in. How are you doing? What is going on? I'm a little scared. The helicopters have gone over, are they? It is okay. They are flying overhead right now. We are just confirming that they are down. I am telling your men to move up and secure their landing position. Okay. I don't think we need to pull out yet, but we are trying to conclude deal. Okay. Oh my god, you fucking half happy retards. Okay, here is the problem. You see, the Americans are trying to stage something to blame you for something they did. Did you put those charges on those SU-25s like I asked? Okay, when the time is right, we will blow them. Of course, my friend. What is your position right now? I am talking to the guard near the, the furthest aircraft. Oh, so you're... You're at the southernmost Hainer. Yeah. Okay, you might be able to hear my birds. I'm going to stage them to your south, pick you up in a few, and then we'll continue on. Okay. Here come my fucking no. Ah, my fucking Novgoro commandos. Lolo's down to his damn pistol. Not a boat. 
Передаюсь на позицию. Жду. Выдвигаюсь на позицию. All right. Four guys left, and I still got a shit ton of guys. Okay, here's the deal. I'm waking up some of your guys at Gridref 096004. So that place won't be safe. Alright. Mulligan one. Well, I guess that's not gonna work, and Daka is way too dead to even be brought up. Mulligan two. Okay, I have chopper coming into land now. It should be just to your north by maybe 25, 30 meters. Okay, I shall be there. Be advised, your forces are reporting that the Americans have been killed. However, there might be a secondary team, so we are on the lookout. Also, one of your idiots just walked off the ceiling and died. And he's apparently not a boat. Do you hear MI-8, Dimitri? I see MI-8. Good. I'm telling your guys to get away from Hainers, because as soon as you get at soon as that MI-8 gets away from the Hainer, you're going to blow it. Okay. Tell me when you are in chopper. Ясно, приступаем. Выдвигаюсь на позицию. I am in the helicopter. Okay, it is taking off now. When it starts, to, uh, I will tell you when to blow charges. Dimitri, blow the charges. Out fucking standing. I'm having all forces pull out of AO and we'll get them in the other... Dimitri, no! <laughs> that was a cook-off rocket! That was a fucking cook-off rocket! Tying up loose ends is a bitch, Dimitri. Oh. 
No, it wasn't. That's not kosher, then. That is not canon. I'm not gonna nuke him. It's still a fail. It would have been a mission success, but no, that was that was just Andruza. That was just Andruza. I had a feeling, because there's no way in hell a cook-off rocket would be capable of doing that. Andruza, that doesn't count. We failed the mission, Nani? Rip. <laughs> yeah, you little oh. bitch, that doesn't count. I thought that was a cook-off <laughs> rocket. I was freaking the fuck out. That doesn't count, you were dead. You died in the AO and your body literally like flew 150 meters right to my feet, okay? You are dead. You cannot then respawn at base, grab a stainer, use the teleporter, and then kill Dimitri, for fuck's sake. I literally thought one of the fucking cash jets cooked him off, but no, it fucking uh, lies. Oh, I, I should have I had the drone as a contingency plan. Oh yeah, you should have put explosives on it. Fucking damn, we could have just done it that I should, way. I should have put the drone as a contingency, damn. You fake, fake news. Okay. Here. How that plant? Yeah, you shut the fuck up, you little line sack of shit. Alright. So, Dimitri got away. He's not dead, because fuck you, Andruza. He would have gotten away. Um, and the cash jets are blown up, so I don't know. I, I you know what? Andrews is the one that Wait gave on. the order, and he he's Wait he's on the on one her. we're gonna court martial. No, we're not blaming on her. We're blaming on Andrews. It's all Andrews. Covering up. He was the one who fired the missile. Uh, he is the one that fired. Yep. See, he he went unauthorized <laughs> out of the base with a stainer launcher, and he blew up a random helicopter that contained Russian orphans. Oh man, Andrews, you're in the shit <laughs> oh. now. <laughs> but um See, all I'm gonna say is you guys sealed your fate when you drove right up to the beach and the Shilka just yeah you, you drove up to the Shilka and the Shilka said hi so we should have had a quiet yeah. craft I told you the plan was to for me to basically navy seal that guy by the radio tower but the boat kept moving and mm -hmm. bobbing so it was impossible to take a shot of bipod I, I tried uh, my best to the, um stabilize the waves as best I could and it helped somewhat but it wasn't enough. My plan yeah, was you was just have a sniper team it. on the south and that would just assist you. Yeah, I was trying to make it look really cool and fucking Navy SEAL the guy about boat made it impossible. Mm. Um so the drone operator said that the north side is clear. Well, it wasn't clear. The all three helicopters were really crude and then the shulker came down the hill so I I did mark the area further down the beach but yeah, you yeah, we, basically yeah. how that went was you drove up to the MIA. The MIA, I remote, I was basically doing spotting by I'd remote control the guys whatever angle they were facing with their NVGs. If they saw the boat moving, they'd go aggro. Uh, so you literally drove right up to that chopper, and the chopper just looked at you and went, oh, cool, guys, we have a boat coming up to us. So they took off, and then the Shilka moved up because, well, easy. Yeah. And then uh, Andrews flew 150 meters after dying to the Shilka, and um, we had a nice conversation. And then uh, Dimitri got away, and that was. Uh... Hope you guys liked that last stand at the end, though. Um, but I sent pretty much half the infantry at you because right at the damn airfield. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we, sh we shouldn't have started medicine people. To be honest, we should have just got in that Ural and just driven up, driven up to the airstrip. The technical was fucked. And once, we lost, once we lost fifty percent firepower, that was it. As soon as we hit beach and saw the shell cut fire, I was like, "Oh, here we go, one of these." Uh, anyway, so as our U.S. cells are getting court-martialed, we're gonna play as Russians starting next week. Yay! Yeah. If next when you do this, Russians, we can take frigates, hopefully. Maybe. A Russian anti-tank rifles. Anyway, Barry. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Go operate operationally. <laughs> Hope you had some enjoyment out of that, and take care. Have a good one.